Edition 2 in which we will be developing a game of deck of cards using Python. First we will create a simple textual card game, then we will create a graphical card game using object oriented programming, then we will size image files and in the end we will play the game. We will be creating a game of cards using textual cards. It's going to be a simple game, it's going to be as simple as necessary and after that we will be start to use object oriented classes. Here is one simple way how we can create a simple game of cards. We have created a suite list which contains a suite and we are using a list comprehension in which we generate the 52 cards. We can import the pretty print statement and when we print it out we can see that our cards are generated in, in order. We have them all in order from clubs and suite with rank. So this is clubs 1, 2, 3 and so on, all in order. Now we can use from random, we can use a shuffle method to shuffle the deck in memory in place. So when we do this and now print it out, we can see that our cards, our 52 cards now are random, in a random order. We can retrieve a card simply by using the pop method that gets the latest one. And when we print that out, we can see the latest card here is hearts one. And that's what we popped off from the list of our deck. And we can also get a random card by using a random integer between zero and the length of the decks minus one. So when we run this, we get another card. This one is random from the list. In order to program object oriented, we use classes. But first we create some module level global variables. But these are only global within the module. So they're only global to the module. They can also be imported when we import this module. And here we have our suites, our faces and the ace. And we say the number of cards should be 52, just to make sure we don't generate too many or too few. And in our game, the ace is going to be the highest card. Then we create three classes, a card class, a deck of cards class, and a player class. And the card class will represent a card. The deck of cards will be the deck of cards, and the player class will create players. Our card class in the initializer expect a rank and a suite to be passed in. We save those in the self variables. And it also has a method that prints out what kind of card it is. So the show card method will print out in a formatted way what kind of card we have. In the deck of cards initializer, we use two list comprehensions. One to create the regular cards and one create the other cards, so Jack, Queen, King and Ace. And we can simply concatenate those two lists together. And then we have our self deck of cards which holds all 52 cards and we can use an assert statement asserting that the length of the generated deck of cards list is indeed the number of cards we want. If not we print out that we got the wrong number and uh, we'll get an exception. The deck of cards class has a show deck method. This one loops um, through the entire deck of cards uh, calling the show card method from the card class on each of them. And this works because when we created our two lists here, we actually assigned them card objects. So the regular cards are the face and ace cards. They're actually card objects. So when we loop through our list, we can call the show card method from the card class on them. As we had imported the random module at the top of our module, we can call the shuffle method on it. And here we shuffle the deck of cards as we have done in our simpler example. And again, in order to return a card, when we draw a card, we return from the top of the stack, which is a list, we pop off uh, the top item of our deck of cards list. In the player class, we expect a player name to be passed in. If none got passed in, we simply default to name one. And we create an empty list which will represent and hold the cards the player has. And as we are using object oriented programming classes, each player we create from the player class will have its own unique self um, list. So they won't get mixed up. 
and we draw a card, the player draws a card, in the draw card method we expect a deck to be passed in. So when we have the deck we call the draw card method from the deck class. And we simply append the drawn card to our player hand list. And we have a show hand method that um, loops through the player hand list and shows calls the show card um, card method on each card. That's, this is very similar to what we're doing up here. For show deck, we show the entire deck. For show card, we are showing the card each a player has in his hands. In the main section at the bottom of our module, we first create a deck of cards instance. We show the deck, then we shovel the deck. We show it again to show that we really shovel the deck. And then we create a player, a first player, we call him John. And uh, we can do method uh, chaining. In the draw card method of the player object, we return self in the end. And what that allows us is we can dot the things together, the method calls. So we can do player one dot draw card and dot draw card again. So in this line of code, we are drawing two cards for player one. Then we show the hand. And we do the same for the second player. Also show the hand. And in the end, we show the remaining lengths of the deck of cards just to make sure we really popped the cards of our list and we have less than 52 cards. Left. So when we run this now, we're executing the code and we can see that our list in the beginning is in order. That's how we had created it. Then we are shoveling the deck and now it's random, it's in a random order. We can see that John is drawing a card and another one. And we show the cards, five of spades and queen of spades. And the second player is Tim. He got uh, the five of diamonds and the seven of spades. And the remaining card from the length of the list is 48. So we started with 52 cards. And now we're down to 48 because each player had drawn two cards. In this video, we created a textual game of deck of cards. First, we did this in a simple way. And then we advanced using object-oriented programming with classes.